my name is Rachel and today we're talking task number 20 for the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge. And this is uh, all about books written in prison. The first three that I thought of are all, um, I think, a little bit more obvious picks, but I still haven't read them, so I definitely wanted to include them on the list. First up is Conversations with Myself by Nelson Mandela. I believe this is the collection and I'm not sure I'm not sure the entire book was written while he was in prison, but it is reflecting on his prison experience and I believe several of the essays included here were written while he was in prison. Next up is Martin Luther King Jr. Letter from the Birmingham Jail. Again, I have not read this, um, but this is an obvious one for me, I feel like. It literally says it in the title, and this is one of the more famous instances of a man writing from prison. Next up, again, is probably the uh, another one that is, is more obvious, and that is Mahatma Gandhi. This is the story of my experiments with truth. Uh, again, a famous man imprisoned and uh, we get to hear a little bit of his his ideas from his imprisonment. So I think those three are probably um, no shock to anybody, but they're ones I haven't read, even though I know about them. So they're, they're on the list. Next up is Couldn't Keep It to Myself, Wally Lamb and the Women of the York Correctional Institute. This is uh, drew my attention initially when I was researching because I've read Wally Lamb before and really enjoy his writing. So I think this could be a big contender. And I feel like um, having watched uh, so much Orange is the New Black, even though I have not read the original book, because uh, I'm scared now. And now that I've watched the show, I'm scared that I'm not going to like the book as much as I like the show. But anyway, that's another story. Um, I'm really drawn to women's correctional facility books, I think. So outside of the three guys I mentioned, outside of the three men I mentioned at the top of this video, I probably will aim more for uh, women's corrections. I think they um, would be more in my wheelhouse. So this is definitely on the list because it's by Wally Lamb. Along similar lines, I have a few others that are focused on women's prisons. First up is Inside This Place, Not Of It, narratives from women's prisons by Aylette Waldman and Robin Levy. So this could be a very interesting uh, book as well, focusing on women's prisons as well as Memoirs from the Women's Prison by Nawal El Sadawi and translated by Marilyn Booth. Also, this one would work for the Women Translated by Women, task number 10, if you wanted to double dip. Outside of the Women's Prison, um, one that was released recently that I believe was written or at least partially written in jail is Cherry by Nico Walker. I don't know much about this besides the fact that I think it's set in Ohio and it was just recently uh, released late 2018. So this is definitely um, one that could make the list. And again, I believe this was written in prison. It's hard to find details on some of these things um, to prove that they're actually what you think they are. But I believe this one will count. Next up is In the Belly of the Beast, Letters from Prison by Jack Henry Abbott with an introduction from Norman Mailer. I believe these are I believe it's a collection of letters from prison. And if that is the case, it could also work for task number one, but I'm not 100% sure it is the letters. It could have been the letters fleshed out. But if it is in the form of letters, it will also work for task number one. Next up is Stolen Lives, 20 Years in a Desert Jail. This is by Malika Ofker and Michelle Fitosi. And this is a a uh, political memoir. I believe she's been captured in Morocco after her father has been arrested and executed. And she spends, obviously based on the subtitle, 20 years in jail. Um, this is one that I do have on the shelf at our high school library. So I'm very much interested in this one so that I can book talk it with the students. And then last but not least is one with, oh my goodness, an epic cover. It's kind of haunting. Uh, it's called No Friend But the Mountains, Writings from Manus Prison by Bahoraz Bukhani, translated by Omid Tofigian. I apologize if I totally butchered your name, but the cover alone caught my eye for this one. I believe this takes place in Australia, but I don't think the author is a native Australian because originally I had this as 
um, a book for the Oceana task, task number eight, but I'm not sure this will work because I do not believe he is um, own voices for Australia, but it, it caught my eye then. It's such a haunting cover that it really um, stuck with me. So this is definitely one on the list as well. So there you have it, some of my top picks that were written at least mostly in jail. And yeah, several interesting options. If you have any that you would like to share, definitely leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.